UAE Systems Australia has recently announced successful tests of their innovative miniature precision-guided bombs, dubbed Razor. These bombs are made from modified 155mm artillery shells. However, their role and effectiveness on modern battlefields remain subjects of ongoing debate. According to a press release from the company, the recent flight trials of the Razor low-cost precision guided munition, LCPGM, marked a significant milestone. The prototype, equipped with advanced aerodynamics and onboard systems, performed impressively during tests at a commercial test range in Cloncurry, Queensland. This success highlights the project's progress and the level of engineering sophistication achieved during its rapid development. The Razor system features a modular design that converts standard 155mm artillery shells, weighing between 40 to 50 kilograms, into high-precision aerial bombs. It also has the capacity to adapt to 127mm naval shells, offering versatility for various military applications. During the trials, the Razor bomb, equipped with an inert warhead, detached from a helicopter and glided toward a target on the ground. The tests focused on evaluating its aerodynamics, avionics, navigation, and other critical systems to prepare for the next phase of development. Razor is progressing at an incredible pace, and these flight tests are the result of months of hard work. We are immensely proud of the team and this achievement, said Leon McLaren, the program manager for the Future Guided Weapon Initiative. The development of Razor began in February 2023, and the first flight tests occurred just nine months later, continuing until January 2025. Despite the promising results, there are several challenges that need to be addressed for Razor to be fully operational in modern warfare. One of the most significant issues is its reliance on GPS and inertial navigation systems, GPS INS, which are susceptible to disruption in environments with high levels of electronic warfare, EW, such as those seen in modern conflicts. A prime example is the Excalibur artillery shell, which performed well initially in the early stages of the Russia-Ukraine conflict but was soon rendered less effective as Russia adapted its EW measures to counteract it. More advanced navigation systems exist that are better resistant to jamming and spoofing, but these are typically expensive and are more appropriate for larger munitions like the JDMR. Another concern is the bomb's relatively small payload. Weighing only 40 to 50 kilograms, the bomb contains roughly 10 kilograms of explosives, which can be inadequate for causing significant damage unless the target is lightly armored or located in open terrain. Furthermore, the design of artillery shells is inherently inefficient for use as aerial bombs. They are built to withstand the shock of firing from artillery, resulting in thick walls. This characteristic is unnecessary and inefficient when used in aerial bombs, as it reduces the proportion of the weapon's weight dedicated to explosives. For comparison, an L-15 artillery shell contains about 26% explosive material, whereas a 500-pound Mk-82 bomb contains 34%, and a 1,000-pound Mk-83 bomb contains 45%. The final issue revolves around the weapon's range. While specific details on the maximum range are not disclosed, it is known that the bomb's glide ratio exceeds 7.5. This means that for every meter it drops, the bomb will travel 7.5 meters forward. Based on manufacturer estimates, if dropped from a height of 1 kilometer, the bomb's flight range would be approximately 7.5 kilometers. This range is relatively short, especially considering that artillery shells fired from the ground can reach similar distances. In the context of a high-tech adversary with robust air defense systems, such as China or Russia, this range would force aircraft to fly into dangerous zones, exposing pilots and planes to enemy fire. These limitations highlight the need for further development before the Razor system can be effectively deployed in contemporary military operations. Thank you.